Get out! Get out the car now! Don't you even try and flee! Get out! Just take a deep breath. Just take some deep breaths. It's okay. People get into a lot of trouble when they're drunk. Sometimes it's funny and entertaining. Other times, not so much. Drunk driving is one thing. Hitting a cop car while you're drunk is so poetic. Watch what happens when you're too drunk to realize you just hit a cop car. This one went from zero to hundred really quickly. But that's the thing with most accidents. One moment, the officers are cruising down North Holton Street and East Locust Street, and the next, a reckless driver in a black Toyota SUV crashes right into them. The footage is shot from the windshield view of the patrol car. It is shown going down the street. Right as it's crossing the green light, we hear a crash, and the car suddenly spins and flips onto its side. One of the two officers in the car, a female, cries out in panic. The male officer asks her if she's okay. The video cuts to security footage showing the crash as it happens from the outside. The footage shows a black Toyota SUV running a red light and rammed into the side of the patrol car, causing the car to flip. Okay. Yeah. Where's the radio? Yeah. Oh. Oh. The video cuts back to the patrol car. We hear the female officer is still panicking. Bystanders are seen rushing into view as they try to help the officers who are still trapped inside the car. The male officer reassures them that he's fine, but the female officer is hyperventilating. Panic attack intensifies and she appears to be crying inside the car. The bystanders who come to help manage to get the car back upright. <gasps> are you okay? I'm okay. Just hang out. 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I've never been in a car accident. I've never been in a car accident. Okay. Just take a deep breath. Thank you, Shazam. Just take a deep breath. Just take take deep breaths. Sorry. Just take a deep breath. Just take some deep breaths. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just relax. Okay. Try. Hey. Hey. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Two, three, three. Your prior It's okay. We're okay. We're okay. Are you hurt? Five, two, four, three. Are you Huh? Are you Are you hurt? What hurt? What hurt? I don't know. Just stay like that. Just stay like that. Body cam footage of the male officer shows him trying to comfort his colleague, who is having a panic attack. He reassures her while she informs him that she's never been in a car accident. The video shows broken glass raining down inside the car. It was still sideways, but shortly the bystanders flipped the car back on the wheels. The male officer gets out of the car and urges them to get his partner out. Is she okay? Is she okay? She's okay. She's okay. She's 
everywhere. I'm surprised she didn't hit me, man. That was me right there. What are you doing? What happened? She blew the red light. Okay. She blew the red light. That's my truck right there. Moments. I, I see her. I'm she used uh, the squad car coming. She just fucking ran right into it. Right there. She, she blew the red light. Hey! Hold on. Hey. Hey, she's right there. She's right there. She blew the red light. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Positive, bro. Look at this shit. Just hang out here for a minute, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, we got a witness right here. Yeah, All right, we got a good one. Right yeah. Okay. All right. Stick to my mouth. Find a car to put on you, okay? I'm good. I'm good. Can you go? It's all right. No, so just take these breaths. Yeah, take these breaths. You did good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Hey, can you just check my cell phone? It should be over there somewhere. I flew out of my phone. You done? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That was wild. Huh. Oh, thank you. I'm at Holton and Locust. The male officer goes around the car to check on his partner once more. He makes sure she's okay before he starts to talk to a witness, who turns out to be the driver of the truck shown in the footage of the crash. He informs the officer that the driver of the black SUV ran the red light and almost hit him too. After speaking with the witness, he informs another officer of him and goes back to check on his partner and reassure her. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured in the crash. The reckless driver only walks away with basically a slap on the wrist. She was cited for a license violation. Vehicle is entered out of East Cleveland, stolen. Alright, hold that car up. three males, all sleeping. These guys were reportedly sleeping inside a stolen vehicle, and when the cops arrived on the scene, they refused to come out and decided to make a run for it. Of course, most sensible people already know that there's no getting away from the cops. But these aren't sensible people. Open up! Open up! Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Slow. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Keep your shoes where they're at. Hey, we have the pass back passenger. Hey, just move, move him, move him! Body cam footage shows the cop approaching the black SUV with a flashlight in his hand. He shines the light inside the car, and we see two men. One with his head down inside the car. He appears to be sleeping. The other man was leaning back in his chair, also asleep. There's apparently another man in the back. The female officer reports through her radio that there are three males in the car, all sleeping. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Here, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Ain't nobody even did nothing, so I'm just saying, hold on. No, just get out of the car. I'm about to get out of the car. Can I get out? Get out. Let's go. Don't let me get out. Show me your hand. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's trying to... Car's off, car's off. Car's off. The officer knocks on the window and opens the door on the driver's side. She demands to see his hands as she takes out her cuffs. The driver of the car looks completely high out of his mind. The other officer drags the man in the passenger seat out of the car, while another cop gets into the back to help secure the driver. The officer in the back suggests that the female officer grabs the keys out of the car. She doesn't do that, and the driver doesn't appear willing to cooperate. The driver starts to move, and the officers warn him not to make any movements. They order him to get out of the car, but the man doesn't cooperate. He starts to fight with the female officer for the keys to the car. The officer in the back tries to warn the female officer that the driver is attempting to start the car. She tells him the car is off, but that changes quickly as the audio picks up the driver revving the car engine. Get out! 
They try to restrain the driver, but he puts the car in gear and starts to drive. We hear the officers grunting with effort as they wrestle the driver. We hear the sound of a crash. The video cuts to the body cam of the officer attempting to secure the passenger in the back. It shows as the driver puts the car in reverse and gives it gas. The car runs into the wall of the building nearby. The driver changes gear again and the car moves forward. The female officer falls to the ground and the car continues on until it rams into the cop car in front. Here's okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get us. Turn over right now. Turn over. Turn over. You good? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. The officer catches the driver as he attempts to get away through the passenger side. They throw him to the ground and restrain him. The driver screams deliriously as the officers put the cuffs on him. The rest of the video shows the incident from different perspectives. And then the officer goes on to confirm that all three men were apprehended. The driver, Murlu Bay, was arrested and held without bail. The investigation remains ongoing at this time. This woman is a total nut job and is very lucky to be alive. In Sebastian County, Arkansas, a woman who was identified as Jennifer K. Porter, 27, stole a truck and led police in a car chase. During the chase, she rammed four police cars and attempted to ram a bystander. Porter was also shown to be in possession of a firearm. Footage shows the police car chasing down a red Dodge truck ahead. The car suddenly slows down, and the driver puts the car in reverse. The officer reports that Porter is armed, and also draws his own firearm. Porter ends up ramming the cop car with the back of the truck, disabling the car. The officer reports in as Porter drives off. Sebastian 12, Force Mesh, on myself, 18 and 27 in the Witcherville area, 71 in Dayton Road. 10 471 Dayton Road, break. Force Force Mister, he's got a gun in hand. 10 4 Greenland 9 drop. Shit. Vehicle 10 7. Good! Shit. Okay, Force Mister, she just ran my vehicle. It's 10 7. She does have a gun in hand. Just continue on uh, Dayton Road towards 71. I'm 10 7. Another police officer arrives on the scene in a cruiser. The officer makes sure he's okay before moving on to chase the driver of the car. The footage cuts to the red truck getting the pit maneuver, finally putting the chase to a stop. Porter is shown lying on the ground with her face down as the cops go on to restrain her. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Porter is handcuffed and put in the back of the cop car. She informs the cops that she didn't really mean to cause all this destruction. I'm just going through a lot and later says, bet they didn't expect me, huh? As she's sitting in the back of the car. Porter was arrested on eight counts of felony, aggravated assault, fleeing, and felon in possession of a firearm. That's where we are when we have cars that are rolled over in the middle of the street. The footage shows the officer stopping to attend to a different rollover crash. 23-year-old Anita Locke was probably drunk and certainly going over the speed when she crashed into the officer's cruiser. That's not all. The young woman goes on to blame the police officer for this incident. 33 to radio, my vehicle was just struck. The officer lights a flare and places it on the ground on the road. There's been a crash, and the cop is trying to warn other oncoming drivers. The body cam shows there's a steady stream of traffic going by. The officer suddenly rushes away from the road and away from his car. Moments later, a car blazes down the highway and slams into the patrol car from behind. He radios in that his vehicle had been hit. 1733 to radio. 
contact Cleveland as well. We're gonna need uh, multiple units to, out here to shut this highway down. Stop! Go! Oh, this way! This lane! This lane! Go! I don't know yet. I, got, I just got out of the way of mine. Um, single car rollover, I'm sorry, single car rollover into another. I, him and I stopped and my car smoked. Uh, I was behind it popping flares and uh, thankfully got out of the way into the grass quick enough to, before he just covered it. Um, I don't know 100% yet from the first rollover and then the second one rolled. The EMS is out now. But uh, I didn't know, I, I just, I told radio to contact AIU and I didn't know if, did they, do they have a number? Okay, so the call's gonna go in, so, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. I didn't know if you were active for that. So, and one of our cars, one of our cars is involved anyway, so we gotta have somebody else take it. The officer lights another flare and places it down before he begins to make plans to shut the highway down. The cops quickly lay down more flares to let drivers know that there's danger. Footage captures the scene as the policemen try to pull the driver out of the car, who was also involved in another crash. The policemen stopped the traffic so they could attend to the accident victims. where we are when we have no, cars no, that are rolled over side. in the middle of the street. The you almost killed me. No, on the side. I'm not gonna argue with you. Don't argue with me. Don't argue with me. You I'm almost sorry. killed me. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Own up to it. Okay, I will, but I I thought they pulled over on the side. You can't pull over a car over the side when you have a car accident. upside I'm down sorry. in the middle I, of the road. I'm sorry. You didn't see anything. I did, I was driving. Because you crushed the side of my police car I'm with sorry. me behind it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. lucky to be alive. And I'm glad you are. Is anything hurt? Me? Yes. You no, are. I thankfully I got I turned around and got out of the way in time. Had she a swerved right though, you and I would have be a different conversation. I'd be on there. Uh, okay. If I was lucky. Well, it's all shut down now, so there ain't nobody moving. Yeah, we're still trying to count. All right, push. So you you weren't in, you weren't involved any in all this, no, right? Okay, I'm so just... follow me. I'm gonna walk in front of you. Yeah. Did the squad guys check you out yet? Yeah, they got what hit me? Another car. That after it hit my car. It hit your police car, and the police car hit my car. No, it hit the police car. Then it hit your car. Then it hit oh, another man. car. Came down like a bat out of hell. Oh, wow. What hurts? Did they did the EMS people talk to you? Yes. Okay. They, they know they so they know you're out here. Yes, they All just right. Uh, yes. All right. Um once we get that shut down, how do we do we wanna just have the fire truck back up and just get everybody out of here? What? All the traffic that's up here. Or once uh, uh, MLK. Okay. Okay. Once we know that, then I'll then I'll then I'll move it. Okay. So this this one is accident too. The footage shows the driver of the car that hit the cop, Anita Locke, complaining loudly on the phone. They start to argue. The cop tells her that his car was parked where it was supposed to be, and she almost killed him. The officer immediately reprimands her, and she finally quiets down. The cop goes to help another driver navigate through the blocked highway. He stops to check on a man lying on the ground. It appears the girl had hit his own car after she hit the cop's car. It's revealed that Locke hit at least three cars. Stay in your car. Stay in your car. Stay in your car. Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right. Ma'am? I didn't know that y'all was parked on the Stop. window out. Stop. Ma'am? Ma'am? She's not, she's not, she's okay. Okay. No! You stay in your car! 
You stay in your car right now. Get in your car. You all right? Is it just you in the car? Huh? The officer returned to Locke and ordered her to remain in her car. He makes sure that she's okay and then tells her to stay there. She tries to speak and he tells her to stop. The officer checks to make sure the person inside it is also okay before he goes on to direct traffic around the crash. He lights more flares and lays them on the ground. She was in the rollover. We got two people in the front car. Uh, passenger is unresponsive. She's highly intoxicated apparently. And then I have a male trapped in the truck. You're trapped in the truck? I can't get, he can't get out. Like he's, a, he's up and alert, but I don't. In there. Yes. You able to stand up at all? You able to stand up? Can you see if you can open that door? Hey, get off the road. Get off. Okay, get off the road. She can't. You, you, get off the road. Oh, dude, this guy can get out. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, the one up there is the one that's apparently all messed up. The cop shows the medic at the scene another victim who had been involved in the crash. Her car, a white sedan, had completely rolled over. He shows them the car of the woman that had hit his cruiser. There were two involved in the car. Finally, they helped the driver out of the truck through the side door, which was facing up and they laid him down on the grass on the side of the road. The scene was a total mess. Anita Locke was arrested for going twice over the speed limit. It was later found that she had an alcohol level twice the legal limit and was charged with operating a vehicle under the influence. The incident took place in Fairfax, Virginia. A law enforcement officer stopped the driver of a 2012 BMW 750 series for a routine traffic stop. The 17-year-old driver of a black 2018 BMW M3 came barreling down the road at insane speeds. The car lost control, hit the community member's car, and then the officer's patrol car, and barely missed the police officer. It was a wild accident, for sure. People don't realize that most teenagers simply aren't responsible enough to understand that they don't have enough experience to keep a car under control while driving fast. The dashcam footage shows the officer standing beside the BMW, speaking to the driver through the passenger side window. Traffic on the highway looks heavy as cars pass them by. And then there's that hair-raising moment when the other vehicle appears on the left side of the screen, on the other side of traffic. He's going sideways. His car drifts across the median onto the coming lane. The audio picks up the sound of the tires screeching loudly, and the cop notices the car spinning toward him. Serving rescue, serving units, accident, right here at County Parkway, south after Braddock. My cruiser was hit, driver was hit, I'm trying to check on injuries. The officer starts to run away as, not even a second later, the teenager's car slams into the parked vehicle. It continues on, sliding past the cop who's running away and missing him by a few inches. He somehow misses one of the oncoming cars, and the car slams into the officer's cruiser as well. The officer hops over the guardrail and quickly walks to safety. He radios in, calling for aid while he goes to check on the driver, who was pulled over for the initial stop. The footage cuts to the officer standing next to the first BMW, which appears to have taken some severe damage in the accident. 
we see the officer reaching in to help the driver before the video cuts back to replay the moment in which the car was hit, and the officer almost lost his life. Over the years, there have been some pretty strong arguments over whether or not teenagers should be allowed to drive due to their proclivity for reckless behavior. Another issue was why this teenager was driving a sports car to begin with. The driver was charged with reckless driving. It is wishful thinking to hope they learned their lesson from this. This is like a, a nightmare. Okay, ready? Okay. All right. Begin when you're ready. Keep, keep your arms down like okay. I told you, all right? Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Okay. Four. Three. I'll tell you what. You know, at this point, we're not going to go any further, okay? Because you can hardly stand. This officer pulled over a vehicle for speeding. He was in the middle of issuing the driver a ticket when another driver, a smooth brained driver, rammed into the back of the cop car that was not the end of it. The driver tried to back up. They still hadn't realized that they'd slammed into a policeman's car. The cop notices this and suspects that the woman behind the wheels of the car is impaired. 2163 radio. I just had somebody slam into the back of my cruiser. Start me another car. The first minute of the body cam footage shows the policeman writing the ticket. Then, the audio picks up the sound of the crash. The cop's car is rocked from the impact and the officer quickly radios in to report the incident as he gets out of his car. Stop! You okay? I'm okay. Go ahead and shut the vehicle off. As the cop goes around to check on the back of his car, the body cam shows the woman driving a silver car attempting to back up until the officer orders her to stop. Thankfully, she complies and stops moving. The cop approaches and asks the woman if she's alright. She confirms that she is, so he asks her to shut the vehicle off. The passenger in the car expresses shock at the accident as the woman goes to do as the officer tells her. You have a driver's license proof insurance? Yep. Okay. Anybody hurt? No, we're good. No injuries? I'm okay. I need your insurance card. Yep. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Just stay here. Yep. In fact, why don't you hand me the keys for your car? Just leave it in park for me, okay? The policeman asks for her driver's license and proof of insurance. The passenger still appears to be in shock as the driver goes to retrieve her papers. After she hands them over, the policeman asks her to wait, and then asks for her car keys. She fiddles with it for a moment and informs the officer that they won't come out. He asks her to leave the car in the parking lot while he goes back to his car. You okay? okay. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. So, I'm giving you a warning tonight. Your license isn't that good, so make sure you watch your speed, okay? The officer grabs the first driver's license and returns it to her with a warning. She asks if he's okay, and the policeman confirms that he's alright. He reminds her of her other violations in the past and tells her to be careful as he lets her leave. The woman expresses sympathy for the accident before she drives off. Now that's a decent person. The vehicle that struck mine is Henry Edward Boy, 7256, Robert Tom, 649-581. Sir, do you have ID? Did you find your insurance card yet, dear? Go ahead. Thank you. You need an ID on the passenger? I got it. Okay. Tracy, what's the phone number for you? Okay. 2163 radio. The cop returns to the car that had slammed into him. He reports the plate numbers on the car and goes back to ask for the passenger's ID and the woman's insurance card. The passenger gives the officer his ID and he collects the insurance card from the woman. Another officer arrives on the scene. The driver is identified as Tracy Kakuza. Body cam shows the passenger on the phone, telling a third party about the incident that had taken place. Point 19, I'm pretty certain on that. No, pretty sure, I'm certain she's gonna be uh, point 19. Okay. Tracy, how much have you had to drink tonight? I've had um, one beer. One beer? How many shots? Zero shots. No shots? Okay. You take any medication for anything? I take occasional Xanax for anxiety. Okay. Have you had any of that tonight? No. No? Okay. And you just step out of the vehicle for me. We're going to do a couple tests up here. Make sure you're okay. All right? Okay. 
Yep. This is the point the cop expresses to his colleagues that he suspects the woman is drunk. He gives the passenger his ID back. He returns to the driver to ask her how much she's had to drink that night. Her words come out slurred as she tells the officer that she had one beer. He asks her how many shots she's had, and she says none. He asks her if she took medication, and she admits that she takes Xanax for anxiety, but has had none that night. He asks her to step out of the vehicle to do some tests. Do you, have, do you wear contacts or are you supposed I to do. wear glasses? Do you have, do you have your contacts in now? I do. Okay. Do um, you have any problems with your heels, your, your ankles, your thighs, no, your knees, no your hips, anything? No. You see my pen right here? Yes. See, okay. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't turn your head. You understand? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I'll tell you what. You know, at this point, we're not going to go any further, okay? Because you can hardly stand. I don't think it's safe to try and keep going. So you're under arrest for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. After asking some questions, the police begin to try and assess her to see how inebriated she is. He has her perform SFSTs, standard field sobriety tests, starting with the eye examination. He has her track the point of his pen with her eyes, and then he tests her balance. It becomes more apparent that Kukuza is drunk the more the test carries on. She starts to stumble along the way, and the cops have to hold her up. The policeman places her under arrest for driving, while under the influence of alcohol, and they read her rights. Soon, she's seated in the back of the cop car. Lady hits police car while leaving the bar parking lot. Sofia Zaunich, 25, gets in huge trouble when she reverses into the back of the cop car as she's leaving the bar. She was investigated when her alcohol level was revealed to be way above the limit. She was also found to be in possession of cocaine. Get out! Get out the car now! Don't you even try it, please! Get out! Get out the car. You have a license, registration, insurance? Is there a key to this or a, like a star button or anything? Oh! So you know why I stopped you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you know what that is exactly? Can you tell me? Uh, I backed into the Okay. Car. All right, well, as long as you don't try and drive away again, you should be okay. I'm really sorry. Excuse me, sir. I mean, it wouldn't have been a big deal. It's the bit where you tried to drive away. That's not really okay. The body cam footage shows the cop opening the door of the passenger side of the car. He orders them to get out. The inside of the car shows two young people a man in the passenger seat and a woman behind the wheel. The passenger raises his hands as the officer yells at them and warns them not to flee. He goes around to the driver's side and orders the woman behind the wheels to get out. He asks for her license registration, and after she hands it over, he asks her if she knows why he stopped her. Zaunish confirms that she knows the officer stopped her because she backed into his car. She apologizes for the incident, and the cop tells her she will be fine as long as she doesn't try to run away again. Hey man, you're the passenger, okay? You're free to go. You can stay if you want, but you're not detained or anything, okay? You're not in any trouble. I just want to make that clear, yeah? I'm sorry, I, di I didn't realize how close the car behind us was, and I backed into it, and I, I'm really sorry. Okay, no alcohol tonight. Um, like a couple drinks? A couple drinks? How long ago? Uh, we were at uh, Bourbon and Boots at 10 o'clock. The officer returns to the passenger to inform him that he is not detained, and he is free to leave if that is what he wants. The footage cuts back to Zonich as she tries to explain that she didn't realize how close the car was. She confesses that she had a couple of drinks at the bar called Bourbon and Boots. Um, do you mind doing some field sobriety tests for sure. me? Sure. You see the tip of my finger? You see the tip of my finger? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I want you to do is follow it with your eyes, and your eyes only, okay, don't move your head. You understand? Mm hmm So the next test, see that line? Yeah. Come over here. So I'm just going to put you in the start position. I'm going to demonstrate the test, and I'm going to have you perform it, okay? So left foot on the line. Right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe. Hands out your side the whole, the whole time. Hands out your side. Okay, so at this time, you are under arrest, okay, for DWI. Um, so I need you to turn around with your hands behind your back. Okay. You don't have anything in your mouth, any kind of gum or anything like that? Okay. The officer asks if she would do a field sobriety test, and Zaunich agrees. Like in the previous case, the officer tests to see if her vision is on point. He asks her to track the movement of his fingers with her eyes. Next, the officer directs her to the line on the ground in the parking lot. He directs her to walk a straight path down the line and count them as she goes. He asks her to stand on one foot and count. The officer determines that Sophia is drunk and informs her that she is under arrest. 
Zanish doesn't argue. She simply turns around and allows the officer to put handcuffs on her. Something important, you're under arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. New yes. Mexico Implied so Consent you Act you requires you to submit to a breath test to determine so, the alcohol. So, so if you're here in a couple hours, probably. Um, I'm not going to charge you with it if it's drugs, oh, but is this easy. some sort of drug? Totally. Oh, nice cop. Is it some sort of drug? I need to know because if it's drugs, I have to tag it for destruction. Do I have to answer? So like I said, I didn't even read you, Miranda. I'm not going to charge you with it. I just need to know so I can take it. Don't tell him what it is, but don't tell him it's yours. He's lying. It's okay. Okay. The officer puts her in the back of his cop car. Footage cuts to when she arrives at the police station. The officer has her take her seat before he proceeds to read her rights to her. He informs her that she would be required to take a breath test. Zaunik agrees to do the breath test, and the officer administers it. The footage cuts to the moment the cop approaches Zaunik with two tiny bags. He tells her he wouldn't charge her with anything, but he asks if the contents of the bags are drugs. She appears hesitant to ask. The officer informs her that he didn't read her Miranda. Hence, he wouldn't charge her for possessing it. Another man being held in detention witnesses the scene and warns her that the officer is lying and not to tell the officer it's her, but she should tell him what is in the bag. Zaunich tells the officer that the content of the bag is cocaine. It's all very novel. Yeah. No expectations. Thank you. The officer takes her to another section of the station. He leads her inside and directs her to take a seat somewhere. He returned with a pair of sandals to wear, and she changed out of her sneakers. After that, he takes the cuffs off her. As stated before, Sofia Zaunich was taken into custody for driving under the influence, and her blood alcohol level was above 22. She is being investigated for DUI. She was not charged for being in possession of drugs or cocaine. Well, if you needed more reasons not to drink and drive, there you have it. We've got more where that came from. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell. Remember folks, don't drink and drive, you're putting innocent people in danger.